When people talk about authentic or classical feng shui, there are basically two types. The first type is Wan Tou or Land Form Feng Shui that focuses on the mountains and rivers. The other type of Feng Shui that focuses more on the calculation of Qi and timing aspect is known as Li Qi Feng Shui. For example, Xuan Kong Feng Shui is under this category. For those that practice Xuan Kong Flying Star Feng Shui, this type of chart is not a stranger to you. But the main concern is how to interpret the chart correctly and accurately. There are many ways of interpretation and there are actually no right or wrong methods, just that whether the interpretation show prominent results or indication that suits your unit or not. In this video, I will go through a slightly comprehensive type of interpretation method for the Xuan Kong Flying Star charting. If you are interested to learn, do continue watching. Hello everyone, I'm Eric, a Ba Zi and Chinese Metaphysics Practitioner. Do take a second to subscribe and click on the notification bell button if you have not done so. This is to ensure that you won't be missing any of my new video updates. And if you want to learn more about Chinese metaphysics such as Ba Zi and related stuff, you may consider joining the Ba Zi Insider Master Club. You may check out the details in the link provided below. Before I continue and for the benefits of those who are new to the Xuan Kong Flying Star Feng Shui, I will briefly provide some fundamental knowledge regarding this type of Feng Shui. For those who already know, you may scroll to the other segment of the video that might be interest to you. So a Flying Star chart basically consists of 8 boxes of information. We call these 9 boxes palaces. To begin with, these palaces are being overlaid on top of your house floor plan based on the facing direction of your unit. We normally use an arrow to indicate a facing. The opposite end of the facing direction would be the sitting direction, and we will use this symbol to indicate it. It looks like the Chinese character Sun. These palaces are then marked out with the locations and directions for the unit. To continue, inside a palace, one would normally see three numbers. What do these numbers represent? The biggest number or star is what we call the Earth Star or some call it the Bay Star. The number on the left is called the Mountain Star or some call it the Sitting Star. And the number on the right hand side is what we call the Water Star or the Facing Star. Each number indicates a type of flying star and we will go through them now. Do feel free to scroll to the other segment of the video if you already know all the stars. One white star is also known as Yi Bai Xing or Tang Nang Xing in Chinese. Its five element is water and it is located inside the Kan Gua of the eight trigrams Ba Gua or palaces. Two black star is also known as E Hei Xing or Ji Men Xing in Chinese. Its five element is earth and it is located inside the Kun Gua of the 8 trigrams Agua or palaces. Three Jack Star is also known as San Bi Xing or Lü Chun Xing in Chinese. Its five element is wood and it is located inside the Zhen Gua of the 8 trigrams Agua or palaces. Four Green Star is also known as Si Lü Xing or Wen Qi Xing in Chinese. Its five element is wood and it is located inside the Xun Gua of the 8 trigrams of Agua. Or palaces. Five yellow star is also known as Wu Huang Xing or Lian Zhen Xing in Chinese. Its five element is earth and it is located inside the center of the nine palaces. Six white star is also known as Liu Bai Xing or Wu Qi Xing in Chinese. Its five element is matter and it is located inside the Qian Gua of the eight trigrams or palaces. Seven Rig Star is also known as the Qi Chi Xing or Po Jin Xing in Chinese. Its five element is matter, and it is located inside the Tui Gua of the eight trigrams or palaces. Eight White Star is also known as the Ba Bai Xing or Zhuo Fu Xing in Chinese. Its five element is earth, and it is located inside the Gen Gua of the Ba Gua system or palaces. Last but not least, Nine Purple Star is also known as the Jiu Zi Xing or Yu Bi Xing in Chinese. Its five element is fire and it is located inside the Li Gua of the Ba Gua system or palaces. 
Now, how do we interpret all these numbers for a particular palace inside the chart? As mentioned, there are many methods, from the most basic of evaluating the characteristics of each star to the evaluating of different interaction stages that I'm going to go through it now. So, in order to carry out a comprehensive flying star analysis of a chart, we will require to perform three stages of interpretation as per se. So, what are the three stages? They are Special Interactions Interpretation, Secondary Interactions Interpretation, and Inferencing Interaction Interpretation. In this video, I will go through the very basic concept of applying these three interpretation stages. And if you are interested to dive deeper into each stages, more video will be pushed out progressively inside my Parts Insider Master Crowd members only video playlist. Do sign up if you have not done so, the link is provided below. So now let's continue. The special interaction interpretation requires the analysis of the earth star and the water star of the facing palace. Just a recap that the facing palace is the box that represents the facing direction of the house or building. We will evaluate this special interaction first because they have priority over the secondary and influencing interactions. And in order to interpret the outcome, we will need to know the facing directions of the facing palace. And each facing direction would provide a combination strength of medium, strong, and malicious. In this example, the 2 is an earth star, and 7 is the water star. And from the Ruo Pan or Chinese compass, we got to know that the facing direction is Wu, that is south. And by referring to this table, we know that the combination strength is strong. And for strong 2-7 combination, it is auspicious, and it means success in financial, but must be patient. So this sector will bring out the good chi of the occupants that actively uses this sector. One could refer to the special interaction chart for more information. Next, secondary interaction interpretation applies to any palaces within the combination of the earth star and the water star. Note that the first number refers to the earth star, where else the second number refers to the water star. There are basically two types of combination for this stage of secondary interactions. They are auspicious or inauspicious combination. For example, if we have a 4-6 auspicious combination, it would mean bringing talents or fame to a person that stay in that palace of the house. And for 6-9 inauspicious combination, it would mean promoting of illnesses due to the failure of internal organs. And the elders of the house of the family has the highest risk. For inauspicious combination, usually it is very destructive. One could refer to the secondary interaction chart for more information. And if there are no specific special or secondary interaction for any palaces, we will then apply the last influencing interaction interpretation. Now we need to evaluate the earth, water, and mountain stars interactions. Note that the water star carries the highest level of energy, earth star carries the medium level of energy, and the mountain star carries the least amount of energy. And there are rules for evaluating the influencing interactions. For example, an auspicious earth star can neutralize an inauspicious mountain star because earth star has a higher level of energy than mountain star. And an auspicious water star can neutralize an inauspicious mountain star with some residual benefit from the water star. There are many other rules for this type of influencing interaction interpretation and were compiled inside the influencing interaction table. And each star has an effect, for example, one white has an auspicious effect and two black has an inauspicious effect. So on and so forth for the other stars. The effect will be listed inside the table as well. So with the neutralizing of each star as directed by the rules, one could deduce the remaining energy inside a certain palace and deduce its auspiciousness. All the three tables that were mentioned, that is the special, secondary and influencing interaction tables will be consolidated inside this classical flying star interpretation guide for download inside the master exclusive library. 
If you are a Bazi Insider Mastercard member at the level of Bazi Lover and above, you could download a copy. If you have not signed up yet, the sign up link is provided below and you could also click on the join button in this video to sign up as well. More application videos on the three stages of interpretation will be pushed up progressively as members only video. Thank you for watching and see you next week.